Okay, YouTube, as you guys can see, it's your boy BG Tech Life, and I got the Pixel 9 Pro XL on deck. Now, we're going to talk about battery life, guys. I did a small battery life test, and we're going to also talk about some tips and tricks for people that want the optimal battery life on this device. So let's get straight into it. Okay, YouTube, so the other day I conducted a battery life test on this device. I wanted to see what the battery life was like, what the screen on time was like, and things of that nature. So I did apply a couple rules. Like I used the device as much as I could, but sometimes I wasn't using the device because I had to do other things like edit videos and other things that I had to do where I just couldn't be sitting on the phone. And at the same time, guys, I made sure that this battery life test was not Wi-Fi only. It was not Wi-Fi only. I think like halfway, when I got to like 70%, I actually just completely cut Wi-Fi off. So if I was around some Wi-Fi, it was only using the Verizon network. Because that's one of the things sometimes that previous Pixel struggled with. The modem inside those devices had a hard time connecting to the network, and a lot of times they would make the device work extra hard just to keep and get a signal, and sometimes that would affect thermals. Of course, it would affect battery life and things of that nature, and I just wanted to make sure and see how this device would react. Now, as you can see, 10 a.m., guys, I started this battery life test 10 a.m. the other day, as you can see, 100% on the battery, zero use of the screen. Took it right off the charger at 10 a.m. So I actually used the device all the way into the next day, guys, because this battery life test didn't end till 3 o'clock the next day. And I was using this device. As you can see, I got 7 hours and 2 minutes of screen on time. Now, let me tell you what the device settings were. I keep my device only on these videos do I turn my display down. I turn my display down for videos because if I don't, the display looks blown out in the video. But regular use, everyday use, I like super bright screens. So I turn this pixel display up to 90% or plus. It's always almost damn near 100% brightness on the screen. I use the screen at full resolution. And of course, I use the screen at 120 hertz. And like I said... 50% of this battery test was not on Wi-Fi. So I was using the phone at its full capabilities and put it in its most vulnerable state, that is using the network, looking for the network, trying to stay on the 5G signal, dropping down to the 4G signal sometimes and things of that nature. But I'm not going to lie, it still got really great screen on time, really great standby time. I used this device for a day and a half, y'all literally could see that. So as you can see, I took it over to GSM Arena just to show y'all this thing does have a big battery. This device has a 5,060 milliamp battery. Now, guys, if you're looking for the Pixel with the best battery life and you're looking at the new Pixels, obviously, this is going to be the best battery life Pixel because it has the biggest battery. The Pixel Pro, not the XL version, has a smaller battery than this. I'm not sure what that battery is, and I'm not sure what type of screen on time you'll get with that device. But with this device, I actually got seven hours. I got a day and a half of use. It did really, really well. So definitely probably one of the best battery life tests I ever done on a Pixel. And just definitely a true enough, a sure enough device for good battery and good battery life so far. You know, sometimes we get these updates that destroy our battery life on devices and things of that nature. Hopefully that don't happen. Right now as it stands, I'm really satisfied with the battery life on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. So I just wanted to take it to the battery section and set it for a minute because if you want to even get better battery life, there's a couple things you can do to this device because there's some people that prioritize battery life over everything else. Like if I go to work and I work a job where I can't use my device, I can probably prioritize battery life because I'm not even using my device like that. It's just sitting around. It's just in my pocket. It's in my locker. It's in my car. So it's different settings that you could change that even gets even longer and better battery life, especially if you're somebody that's not sitting for long periods of time to charge your battery or you just forget a lot of times to charge your device at night. 
Now, if you want to save some battery life, you could cut on a battery saver because I feel like this is really dope. Not the extreme battery saver, but the standard battery saver. Standard battery saver, which is not on, which was not on during my battery life test. Standard battery saver limits visual effects and background activities. Turns on dark theme if not already on. So this actually takes some steps that you might not even notice depending on how you use your device and saves you battery. So I feel like a lot of people could cut standard battery saver on, save battery life. This is not the extreme battery saver, just some tips and tricks like having the dark mode on. Like right now, as you can see, my device is in dark mode and I have a black wallpaper. And that's really not to save battery, that's just for coordination and how I just want my device set up. But at the same time, black wallpapers do save battery because when you got these OLED and AMOLED screens that get really black, it's almost like the screen is off to a degree and it's being very efficient, not wasting energy. Also, if you want to be aware of what's going on with your device and your battery, you can go to battery under settings and cut on the percentage. Cut on and cut off the percentage. I like to know exactly what my percentage my battery is just so I know how much time I got before I go need to go to a charger, especially when it gets to that crucial time under 20%, I need to be aware. Now, if you want to save more battery, you can go to display under settings and you can actually turn down this display, guys. You can turn on adaptive brightness. Like I said, I don't have on adaptive brightness because when I use my device, I keep the brightness all the way up also if you want to save battery life and you don't prioritize a smooth display over battery if you want to use your device at 60 hertz you can cut smooth display off smooth display basically run your device at 120 frames per second which makes it really smooth like good for gaming and things of that nature or you could cut it off and you the device will actually run at 60 hertz which will save you some battery life because the display is not working as hard it's not refreshing as fast as 120 hertz and also you can just take a look at screen resolution you can change your screen resolution when it comes to pixels if you got it on full resolution that's like a lot of pixels being pushed to this display when you turn it down to high resolution not as many so not as intense on the battery life because it doesn't need that same amount of energy for full resolution so i feel like most people with pro devices want to use them at the, all the top specs full resolution 120 hertz but if you're somebody in a situation where you want to get the most out of your battery for just that situation you can try these things out but yeah guys i just wanted to share with y'all my battery life test and how i got over seven hours of screen on time and over a day of use i feel like this device did really good probably better than any pixel that i've ever had and at the same time share some battery saving tips but it's your boy BG Tech Life. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm out. Peace.